Don Stewart, the artist at artistchronicle.com. There are four potters at Linden Street Artworks who built a kiln together, and we are going to follow them as they do a firing and learn a little bit about pottery in the process. I am William Black. gone from greenware clay to being low fired at a cone this is done at cone 06 which is about 1800 degrees and different clays look different in this state this is a, a different clay different color and it affects the glazes differently in these buckets behind you are our glazes we typically use about six <laughs> colors. And why, why a limited palette like that? Well, it's complicated. It takes a lot to figure out if a recipe is going to work on a clay body and to figure out whether it's going to work in our kiln. We dip the pots in the buckets to put the color on, and this is how the pots look when they are glazed but not fired. We are preparing to fire tomorrow, so we're going to load the kiln today. So these are all glazed and ready to go? Yes. You see how they look kind of chalky and yeah. Uh, when they come out, they'll be shiny and full of color. This firing that we're getting ready to do with the glaze on is a high fire. So it's, the bisque is done at 1,800 or so degrees. These will be done now that they have the glaze on them at about 2,300 degrees. So we're looking for a cone 10 or cone 9. Here are our cones, and they are designed to melt at a certain temperature, and they tell us exactly what's happening in the kiln, and we design the kiln so there are peeps. So that we can look inside the kiln and see what these are doing, and that tells us what temperature we're reaching. This is a, a, a pair of cones that have been fired. Okay. This is the highest one that's 10, started to go down or nine, which means it's about 2150 degrees, something like that, has gone down. And that's when we wanted to turn the kiln off, when it's... And that one's gone down. And this is down and this one's soft. around here at least say kill as if it's K-I-L-L. -L. We probably around here have a, uh, a, a, a really old pronunciation from probably the southwest end. It's the inside of the kill, that's called a bag wall. Reflects heat back toward the pots. That's the damper where it goes out to cut up the chimney. Firing port is down here. Firing port? Mm -hmm. Where the flame comes in. If you look on the outside, you'll see the burners. Okay. What the burners are right here. There's one on each side. These are natural gas yes, burners. 250,000 uh, 250, BTU per burner is the capacity. This is for adjusting for fresh air. 
okay. how much oxidation you wanted to kill. Okay. And this is principally a high reduction kill. Reduction is when the atmosphere in the kiln is more carbonized than oxygenized. It changes the color of the glazes and the clay. And we have some glazes that are very look very good in a reduction firing. Electrically, it's mostly oxidation. Uh, in a gas kiln, it's oxidation, combination of oxidation and reduction, and you can almost fully reduce depending on how how much air you can keep from getting in. This was built on a what's called a Minnesota flat top kiln, and we altered it and made it, built an arch on it, and then added a uh, the car. Normally you would have shelves stacked up in here. That's the kind I'm familiar with, yeah. that I've seen before, this yeah. This one here, we just, we just rolled it in and out. The next thing we're going to do is take the shelves off. We're taking all the shelves off, cleaning, cleaning stuff like this, where glaze bleeds off or comes off of a pot. Okay. We've got to clean it up so we don't get pots stuck. Then we'll load these pots according to their height and how we want them to look with the flame coming across the kiln, things like that. Before the firing is where the labor is, the making the pots, the glazing the pots, the loading them, mm -hmm. and then the firing is sort of a exhale, and then the then there's three days of excitement, anticipation of what they might look like, and then you open the kiln and it's reality. And some look great, some don't. So it's mm. that process every time. And so you started this up this morning at 6 a.m., is that right? Yeah, I was here, uh, started at 6, 6 o'clock, and we are looking at a, about a 13 and a half hour firing, or maybe uh, 14 hours. Shut it down? I think we're ready to shut it down. We will turn off the gas and we will close up all the peeps, the ports where the gas, the flame goes into the kiln, we'll close those up. All right. And we'll wait for it to cool down next. Thank you. 